Bone, never played. Gloomhaven, never played. Chess, I have played. There's too many tryhards in chess. Way too many who just want to play to the... Like, like want to increase their ranking or whatever. Yeah, I played a little bit in high school. <clears throat> and that was perfect. Just like play it, just like move some pieces. But wait, in terms of like professional chess, it's way too, too many tryhards. Cranium, never played. Ticket to Ride, never played that. Apples to Apples, have not played. Battleship, great game. The great thing about Battleship, it's one of those like sort of grassroot uh, like human games. You know why? Because you can play Battleship without an actual board. You can play it on a piece of paper. I did this myself in high school. With this, with this one classmate I had, I think it was like during the end of school and you know, you have like half days, field days. And during, and during one of the free days, uh, he and I got some pieces of paper and we made a battleship board. The game is so good, you don't even need a board to use, you just need pen and paper. Those are, the, those are, those are always the best games to play. So battleship is S tier. Ashley was in the chess club, yeah. That's when I said like when I played chess in high school, it's because I was in the chess club. Club. Candyland. It's pretty good. Not sure if I say it's S tier, but it's up there. It's a classic. Cards Against Humanity. Nah. I played this once, and there's too many different clashings of humor styles. Too many people think too many different things are funny, and sometimes it didn't work. Dick Laser and Nipple Lasers are back. Is that your name? Are you like introducing yourself? What's up, Dick Laser? Catan, never played. Yeah, Candyland is pretty fun. Shoots and Ladders, I love Shoots and Ladders. I was, I was playing Shoots and Ladders on Game Boy as like my main game. <laughs> Candyland is good fun, kind of feels like a pedo when you play it though. I have never felt like a pedophile playing Candyland. What are you on about? What? But yeah, dude, I, I love playing Shoot to Ladders on Game Boy. It was one of my like top played Game Boy games when I had one. And even nowadays when I play... Excuse me. Freaking spam callers, my god. Um oh yeah, or like even nowadays when I play when I'm playing when I'm playing on Game Boy or a Game Boy game, it's always shoots and ladders or Candyland. The best board games. Clue, I never played Clue. Axis and Allies, have not played. Yahtzee, I have played. I play that with family sometimes. Like just a couple months ago I played that with um I play that with my with my father and grandmother. Great game, and also I played this game on Game Boy too. Because there's this one Game Boy game that's a compilation of board games. It has Yahtzee, Candyland, Shoots and Ladders, and I think Uno as well. But actually, Esther, because it feels so good when you get a Yahtzee. It feels beyond awesome. Jenga. Oh, I fucking love Jenga. It's, it's literally a classic game. Now the back to our dick laser talk. No, we're not going back to dick laser talk. We moved on. Okay, we keep it fresh and original here. I know you're old and you want to stick to your old ways, but no, we move on. Fresh and organic. Whole foods, all right? This stream is a whole foods. Fresh and organic. We move on. All right, sorry. I may have played sorry once in my life. It was beyond confusing. But I won't I won't rate it bad since I didn't kind of I didn't really remember it. Snakes and escalators. Wasn't that the SpongeBob variation of the game? Like on one of the episodes? 
I'm pretty sure that was like, it was literally on that episode where they cursed. Oh yeah, eels and escalators, yeah. On that one episode of Spongebob where they cursed, they played that game. Trivial Pursuit? I'm pretty sure this is, a, this is a natural video game too. But I've never played either. The board game or... Video game. Blocus? I've never even heard of that. Risk? I have not played that. Scrabble? I have played that. I especially love playing Scrabble on the, as an app. Those Scrabble-based games where you, where you play with random people online. So much fun. And then when you land, when, when you land like a triple word score, and like the super angry people just quit the game right after that. <laughs> That's so fun. Kerplunk? I've never played Kerplunk. Life? I have played the game of life. Uh, f it's definitely better than these guys. A tier. It's a good game. Operation. I may have played this once when I was like nine years old. At least B tier. Hungry Hungry Hippos. Actually, that's a that's a fun game. Just just wailing on the on the like plunge or whatever to like make the hippo go. It's just a nice hit the thing and then get the marbles. Connect four. Oh, that's a classic, man. The the best, one of the best board games ever, Connect Four. I'm surprised there aren't like Connect Four championships, or, like tournaments. I'd definitely play in that. Monopoly. Mm, it's another classic, a legendary title. But in terms of conf low ST, oh wait. Low S tier. Because of what I mentioned about Battleship, how you can play Battleship just on a piece of paper. Monopoly, there's a whole board, there's little pieces, you got paper money you gotta manage. It's a fully involved board game. So you need the board to actually play it. But it's still good. Mousetrap, that's, oh, that was kind of fun. I'll put it. S tier. Because although Mousetrap is like Monopoly, where there's a lot of moving parts and pieces, it was way more fun to put it together so you can see it all happen. Monopoly is essentially just a math board game. You gotta do math. But Mousetrap, there's action, there's dynamics, mechanics. It's awesome. Pictionary, that's kind of fun. And the great thing about Pictionary, you can do it on, again, also a piece of paper and pencil. So S tier. Pie face. I never played it. I've seen people play it. Yeah, it's kind of alright. B tier. Scattergories. I've never even heard of that. Sorry. Stratego. I've heard of it. Never played it. Trouble. I think I'm confusing Sorry with Trouble, but I've never played it. Or maybe like once, did not understand it at all. This is uh, Backgammon. I, was I always liked the name Backgammon, I could never figure it out. And I, I, I think one day I want to learn how to play it just so I can finally understand it. Yeah, never played it though. Alright, there it is, the objective. Board game tier list. You cannot disagree with this tier list, otherwise you will be banned.